so uh, let us do one more question on useless so uh, let us do one more question on useless so if you see what we have done in this question is that we are given a linked list which contain all type of elements so you're getting the idea this is the idea so so this is pretty much how you have to solve it using a name approach so let's see the optimized approach what is what will be the optimized approach let's say you have the elements as 10 5 so yeah we'll see the code for this so yeah i think we are good then so uh, let us do one more question on linked list so basically the name of the question is odd and even nodes in a linked list so let me write what i mean by this so uh, let us do one more question on linked list what we do in odd and even nodes we arrangement and what i mean by this is whatever is the given linked list for example if uh, our linked list is something like let's say 17 15 8 12 5 so our modified linked list should be something like 8 12 17 15 and 5 so if you see what we have done in this question is that we are given a linked list which contain all type of elements what i mean by all time that is contain both the odd element and the even element okay now we have to arrange in such a way that even comes first and then odd okay but while doing this we don't want to change the arrangement we don't want to change the way the question was already is so what i mean by that is that let's say 8 and 12 is an even node okay this has to come at the starting but this order order should be preserved while doing this arrangement or moving this even node at the starting and the odd node at the ending, we want the order to be preserved. Okay. So pretty simple. What you need to do is that you need to uh, check if it is an even node, then it should be at the starting. If it is an add node, then it should be at the ending. Something like that. So that is how you solve this question. I want everyone to try it out. So at least the name approach will be pretty simple, correct? Like what you need to do is you just need to traverse the link list and you need to see like, uh, how you will take care of the even node and how we'll take care of the odd node and how we'll do the arrangement. Pretty simple, correct? So uh, what we see here is we are given this linked list and the even nodes are at the starting and the odd nodes at the ending. Okay. Now see the name approach is pretty simple. What do you mean by name approach is what you can do is that let's say this was your given linked list, correct? It has 17, uh, a 15, a eight, a 12 and a 5. What you can do is that you can traverse the linked list. So again, uh, pretty simple. Like we don't want to, we don't know how to maintain this, how to join this order and even. So we'll think of the very simple approach. Simple approach will be, uh, this will be the linked list and our head, let's say is pointing at this value. Now what we will do is that we'll traverse the entire list. Why we want to traverse the entire linked list? Because we want to know what is the last element. Correct. Since this is not an array, correct? We don't have this array dot length of those values. So we need to find the last element of the linked list. And this is the last element, this five, correct? So first loop will be a normal traversal so that head reaches the end of the linked list. Now, once head reach this point, what we need to do is pretty simple stuff that whenever you receive an odd element, correct? Whenever you receive an odd element, what you need to do is that you need to put this element, this odd element as the next of this element, okay? So let me not keep this value as head. Let me keep this value as some temp value. Like let us, let us say like this is a temp value. Okay. What we want to do is whenever you encounter odd element, you want to do something like this. Like you want to make that element at the next of this element. So basically something like this, correct. 17 should come at the end of five. So it should now become five pointing to 17. On a high level, we can see we just want to do this temp dot next is equal to whatever is the current element now. So let's say we again started. So this was the current element. So it should be something like temp dot next equal to current. And now if temp dot next becomes current, so it now becomes five is not to 17. And again, current uh, temp should again be moved to temp dot next. Something like this. So our link list now from this line will get modified to something like this. 70 has now moved to this point and our temp has now moved to this point. Correct. Similarly, when you encounter a 15, again, the same thing will happen. 15 is again. A, so how we are checking this? For every element, we are just checking by modulus of two, correct? Whether this is an odd node or an even node. If it is an odd node, then we are again putting at the end of this temp. So this 15 will also come at the end, correct? Now what happens? You encounter this eight. When you encounter eight, you don't do anything. You just ignore. You keep on going. 
then count out 12 you again ignore then when you encounter the last element which is the 5 correct you again put it at the end you're getting the idea this is the idea so 8 and 12 is there and whenever you encounter again a 5 again what you need to do is that you need to put this element at the end something like this now the idea will be now this now it will change to something like this 17 15 and a 5 okay so this is pretty much how you have to solve it using a name approach by using a name approach pretty simple that we want to maintain a tail pointer and by maintaining a tail pointer we just want to have something like that that whenever odd point odd number comes in we want to move it at the end and when an even comes in we just want to ignore it so this is pretty much the code this is pretty straightforward i'm not giving the proper code for this because i want you guys also to go ahead and solve it some of you have already given me the solution so i understand it's pretty straightforward and the logic is this much only so no, not at all confusing. Okay. Now, now this will be pretty simple, but the issue is like here for solving this, we are doing this, uh, like first we need to do one proper travel, go to the end and then keep on moving the elements to the end. We need to think of a way where we can solve this question using just a single traversal. So let us see how we can do that. Now to achieve that, let's say again, let us take one more example. And now we are talking about the optimized approach. So let's see the optimized approach. What is, what will be the optimized approach? Let's say you have the elements as 10, 5, 4, 3, and a 6. Okay. What should be the output? Output pretty straightforward that we want the elements, even elements at first, odd elements at the end. So it would be something like this 10 pointing to 4, 4 pointing to 6, 6 pointing to 5, and 5 pointing to a 3. This is what we want as an output. Okay. Now, optimized way will be, you need to make something like this, that you need to convert this list into two sub lists, correct? Like most of you are doing a odd list and an even list. So what I mean by that is, let's say you have maintained your pointers in such a way that your 10 is now here, that your list is not divided into two lists. So it now becomes 10, four and six as a list, first list and five and three as a second list. No, let, let's say by doing something you achieve till this point. Now, what is left for you now? Is that you just need to do this. Whatever is the next of this element should point to the first of this element. And whatever is the next of this, whatever is the end of even link list. Let's name this as even or not. Whatever is the next of even link list. Whatever is the end of even link list should point at the starting of odd link list. And whatever is the end of odd link list should point to null. This is what we have to do. Correct. And this is the thing that some of the codes are missing, like we have to make this arrangement. Correct. Like if you understand, correct. Like we encounter even node is fine. We maintain somewhere we encounter a odd node is fine, but we need to have some, uh, pointers pointing to those nodes. Correct. Otherwise, how will we join them? So how, what should be that pointers thing? So let us say we try to do something like this. Uh, let me again write the values. So let's say we, again, we have something like this. Okay. And now we want to use these four values, these four nodes. What are the nodes? OS, which means odd start. OE, which means odd end. EE, that means even end. And ES, that means even start. Okay. This is how we want to maintain odd start, odd end, even start, even end. Initially, like all the values will, uh, will be null itself. Correct. Now. What we want to do is that we want to make the image such a way so that all the values get honored. Okay. So let's say that. So let's say whenever you encounter a even node, how will you check that? So pretty simple, like even for doing that, we'll see in the code, but again, for checking whether a node in an English is even or not, similar thing to what we do in Aris. The only thing is, you know, in a node, you have two things. In a node, you have two things. One is data and one is a, you can say a pointer, a next, which points to some value. So what you need to do is that you need, you just need to have an element, let's say integer element uh, as a X and this X will be something like current dot data. Correct. And you just see if this X mod two equal to equal to zero or not. This is the only logic to check. Correct. Whether the node is even or not, even in array or link list or anything. Now you found out that your node is even. When you found out your node is even, what you will do? Because this is the very first time all the node values are null. So when you found a node is even, you just need to check whether the even starting is null or not. That means this value. If this value is null, that means we have not in, this is the very first element. So what we will do, we'll make even starting as 10 and as even ending as 10. 
Okay. Even starting as 10 as well as even ending as 10. And nothing else. Now, when we are at this 5, again we encounter some values. We'll make order start as 10 as order end as 10. Okay. Now, when we move to 4, correct. Now, when we move to 4, again it is an even element. It is an even element and the even start, which is ES, is not null because ES is not 10. In that case, what we want to do is that we just want to move this even end and nothing else. So even start now is at this value and even end is at now at this value. Similarly for odd start also, since odd start is not again now this null, so again odd even will be at this point. Odd even will move from here to here. Now when you go to 6, again the same thing. Again the even ending will you move from here to here. So more or less what you see is that we have, by the help of these pointers, we know we have formed this list, an even list as well as an odd list. You can see here, correct, 10 is pointing to 4, 4 is pointing to 6, and another thing is 5 pointing to 3, the odd one. Now what is left now? Now once this is done, the only part which is left is that you need to join these two things, the odd and the even. So the only thing which is left is you need to join this 6 with this 5. Because 10, 4, 6 is already joined and 5 and 3 is already joined. So if you link this 6 with 5, it will be done. What you need as part of that is just you need to move this 6. You just need to move the next pointer of 6 to 5. This is how you will have the entire nodes arranged in one traversal in a proper manner. Correct. So yeah, we'll see the code for this. Now let us see once the code, then we'll do one proper dry run. So let me write it out. So let's say we have something like this static node and you say, so we want to just want to segregate. So let me write segregate itself and it takes what it takes just the head node. Correct. Now what we want to do now is we want to have those four nodes or starting or ending, even starting, even ending. Correct. Now to take care of that, we want to do something like this node, even starting will be null. Correct. Node, even ending will be null. Node or starting will be null. Initially, all the elements are null. As we discussed, everything is null now. We are just using these four additional nodes, and everything here is null. And odd ending is also null. Cool. Now, what we want to do is that we want to traverse our linked list. And the best way to traverse our linked list should be to traverse it like an array. So, what I mean by this is that just make a simple arrangement. Make this node current, current, because you know, whenever you're traversing linked list, you cannot just move the head. You need to have the head stored somewhere so that you don't lose count of the head. Correct. So let's do node current is equal to head. It is similar to i equal to zero. Now one condition is required. What will be that condition? Normally we have i equal to zero, i less than n. Here we have current not equal to null. This is the condition. And the last thing was i plus plus. Instead of i plus plus, here we have current equal to current dot next. Correct. Simple way of how to iterate a linked list. Even if you want to print all the elements, even if you want to do you want to print elements one by one or anything you want to do. Correct. So this is how you will iterate your linked list. Now, current is at current not equal to one, current equal to current, current equal to current dot next. Correct. Moving, now we are moving at a pace of one element at a time. This is normal traversal. Now, we want to compare the element value is odd or even because the entire logic is depending on thing is that element value is odd or the element value is even. So we need to store it somewhere. So let's say we have int x equal to current dot data. Now we want to say if x mod 2, we can say x modulus 2 equal to equal to 0 or not. Why we are checking this? We are just checking this to check whether the value is even or the whether the value is odd. If it is even, then we have other logic. If it is odd, then we have other logic because we are maintaining two different sublists, one for the even and one for the odd. Correct. So let's talk about if it is an even node. If it is an even node, then as I mentioned, we have to check whether this is the first node for the even node or not. If this is the first node, correct. If this element is the very first element, in that case, we'll have this check. If even start is equal to equal to null, that means this is the first node. Correct. If it is something like this, then what you need to do? Here is some then what we need to do is we want to make this even start the very first element as the current node. Correct. Similarly, even even end also. Because the very first node, the very first node, even start and even end, both will be same. Even end and also will be current. Correct? As we show in the above example. Okay? Now, inside this if also, there will be else case. This is else case inside the even condition, the first else case. 
what is that if it is not the first node in that case what we want to do we want to move this even end correct the even end and not the even end so we want to move the even end so we have to do something like this even end dot next even end will be first pointing to the first node it should be pointing to the current node now what we did by this line is that we made the connection between the two even nodes and now after doing this we need to move our even uh, even ending also correct so let's move our even ending it will be even ending is equal to even ending dot next so what we did here is that in the else case when it was not the first node we see even ending dot next we want to connect the two even nodes so for connecting the first even node with the second even node we did even ending dot next equal to current so the connection happens and once the connection happens we need to keep on moving the even node correct to the end so that it can help in our next connection so till this is done now here our first if condition will stop which is the first if condition this condition correct this will stop now that this is not a even node this is the odd node if that's the case then let us write the else case here also if it is a odd node then what we want to do if it is a odd node then similar thing that we have done for even the same thing will done for odd correct we'll have a check if it is the very first odd node or not that means order start equal to equal to null if it is the very first odd node then order start will obviously be null otherwise it will not be null now let us think about a case when the order start is null similar to what we have written for the even node this order start will now be correct correct and also because this is the first node so order start and over event both be correct correct now what now if it is not the very first node then what and one more modification what we can do no i think it's fine so let's do one thing if it is not a even node then, sorry if it is a odd node and if it is a else condition that means it is a odd node but not the very first odd node then we need to go to the else case and what we need to do again the same thing that we that we did for even node that we need to make the connection and move the odd ending so let us do that dot next is equal to current and order ending equal to order ending dot next this is done let us close everything till now we know till now we explained what we did here is that we closed uh, the condition the very first else condition then we closed the very first if and else condition then we closed the loop so till now we have done the arrangement we have this or we have now this two linked list one with the odd nodes one with the even nodes and now we have everything now the last thing is we need to connect this odd linked list to the even linked list correct now for making this connection we don't need a loop because it will be just a single operation correct that's why we are out of the loop now let's say there was a condition where either of them where either of them is Uh, let's say there is a linked list which has only the odd elements or a linked list which so first let's forget about that case first let's try to connect it then i will write that case out so let's say what we want to do is that out of this why we are using this four pointers now you see we are using this four pointers because this four nodes because we want to connect the odd and the even linked list like most of you guys are missing this so to make that connection what we need to do is that whatever will the even ending dot next this should be connected now to the odd starting correct similarly order ending dot next it will be connecting to the and at the end what we will return we will return and we have to return the head of the linked list correct and what will be the head of the linked list head of the linked list will always be the even node and in even node which even node even starting correct so yeah i think we are good then